I'd like to talk about the additive color model. That's uh, what we are using for all of our editing in Photoshop. We're using RGB. I have a file here. Um, it is, it's currently white. Um, it's a very small file. I've set it at low resolution because that's something else we want to talk about is resolution. This is going to be very coarse, so there's going to be four pixels, only four that fit in every inch. Remember, for print quality, for reproduction print quality, we're going to want 300, but for this, we're using four. Um, it's just 20 pixels um, wide, 20 pixels high, and you can see that size makes it 5 by 5, so it's going to be big blocky pixels. Um, that's the size it is. Now, I'd also mentioned earlier that red, green, and blue put together at 100% produce white, and in this instance, I want to turn all my colors off for this exercise, turn all the pixels off, so I've pressed X on my keyboard, that puts the background uh, color as white and the foreground color as black, and an option delete, that would be alt delete on a PC, fills everything with black, and you can see my pixels here. Um, if you'd like to see your grid, go to view, show, and choose grid, and you'll, you know, you could probably see my pixels just fine anyway, but there are four of them to the inch here. And what I want to do is get my marquee tool and start with my red channel. Um, I'm going to go ahead and drag out a marquee, and I'm going to press X to reverse my foreground and background colors here, as you can see. Option Delete or Alt Delete will fill with the foreground color, and so what I've done is I've turned on the pixels in the red channel, and you can see here that uh, in RGB, with all the channels showing, you can see now I have all the pixels turned on in the red channel and the red channel only, and you see red. I'm going to move this selection just by dragging it over a bit and now I'm going to go to the green channel I'm going to do the same thing option delete that's alt delete on a PC and now you can see um, I have my green pixels turned on here uh, an interesting thing where they overlap you can see that red and green produce yellow I'm going to move my selection one more time I'm going to move it down here uh, so that it overlaps and I'm going to this time go to my blue channel and I'm going to turn those pixels on by filling with white. That's an option delete there. And now I'm done. I have it. So if I go back up to my RGB composite image, that's all three channels showing, you can see that where red and green overlap, they produce yellow. Where blue and green overlap, they produce uh, cyan. And where blue and red overlap, they produce, produce magenta. And so um, that is how additive color works, where they all overlap each other, they produce white light. So that's pretty much it.